First, though, a service has been held at a Wiltshire airfield to remember two men who were the first British airborne casualties of World War I. Wreaths were laid at Netheravon to honour the men from the Royal Flying Corps. It later became the RAF. Michelle Ruminski was there. Falling from the sky, a parachutist delivering a wreath close to the spot of the crash exactly a hundred years ago. The plane was being piloted by 2nd Lieutenant Robin Skeen. He was just 23. Inside, another young man, newly qualified air mechanic Raymond Barlow. He was 22. They were heading for Kent to join the British Expeditionary Force in France. But soon after takeoff, the plane banked, lost speed and crashed. Both men died. That their sacrifice and heroism were not in vain. The importance, I think, for me was, although I'm a historian and I can read about these things or imagine them, being able to come here and actually stand roughly where Lieutenant Barlow stood. In fact, he came out the door behind me and went to his machine thinking he would be in France by the evening. It didn't happen. Among those paying their respects, members of a motorcycle club who managed to track down the great-niece of Robin Skeen to read some words on the family's behalf. As we honour the centenary of his death, I am also filled with pride for a young man who was willing to do his bit for his country, knowing the risks he was taking. Thank you all for being here and remembering them. And then on to Bulford Cemetery, a wreath laid at the graveside of Raymond Barlow. And another will be placed in Surrey, where 2nd Lieutenant Robin Skeen was laid to rest. The Royal Flying Corps became the eyes of the army in World War I and downed dozens of enemy planes. Many took off from this airfield behind me, each unaware of the extraordinary contribution that they would leave behind. This weekend, the wreaths will be taken to France to complete the journey the men never managed to make. Michelle Rominski, BBC Points West, Netheraven.